Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nautilus Art Show. My name is Joseph, and this is a little bit of a different episode today because I have decided to do a step-by-step -step painting. Uh, I don't know if I've done these before for you, uh, and if I haven't, I'm sorry that this was a long time coming. Um, I will tell you this, that the original plan was for the Joy of Bob Ross series that I have, which is on Season 2 now. Um, yes, I'm, I, I've divided them into seasons because I think it's just easier that way. Uh, the Joy of Bob Ross was, already, was originally intended to have, be a talking ep, uh, series, but I quickly abandoned that because I was like, let me just do the painting. But this is going to be different because I'm going to show you everything I legitimately do to prepare a portrait. So, or painting or whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do up here above the screen, you can't see it, is a tab for image. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. Right on, right on, right on the mic. Uh, so we're going to go down. I think you can see it says canvas size here. We go to that. A pop-up pops up. There it is. I'm going to change this to 1100. Now the height the height is fine for this one. And there you go. Just kind of shrunk in a little bit. So now we go over here to the magnifying glass. And you can move it around. So I can move this any way I want. We're going to take this and we're going to pull down. We're going to go. Perfect. Uh, right about there. Okay. So now we have a little bit smaller. Once again, we could move it if we want to. I kind of like to have it like in line with the, with the top bar here, but I mean, well, I guess we'll do that. Right, move the little. This is the color toggle. This is where I choose the different colors on the wheel. So if I want to do green, orange, nope, orange, yellow, purple. <coughs> oh yeah, hot pink. If I want to. But we're going to start off with a black canvas. So basically, right now it's on the pencil uh, option because that's how I sign. We're going to come down over here to, and it should pop up, soft pastel. And we begin. Alright, so right now it's kind of small. What you want to do is you want to come up here, brush properties, click on that. This is, uh, for anyone tuning in, this is Autodesk Sketchbook. I, I have the official downloaded version right from autodesk.com. Um, they are the same company who I would love to have sponsor me. They are the same company that does AutoCAD, Revit, and all the like 3D Studio Max and all those building um, like drafting uh, programs. I actually took them in college, so that's how I know about this. So here we are. So we're a little bit bigger now. It might be a little laggy because I haven't opened this a little bit, but you're gonna see it comes up like this. I'm just gonna fill this in. And I just do this till the whole canvas is filled. Now, actually, no, I guess we'll just wing it. I was going to do like a pre-concept drawing. Uh, well, I guess I could show you what that is. All right, so I think it's this one. I used to use this pencil. Yes, it's this one. <laughs> We're going to bring up the size. Bring the flow down a little bit. We don't have to have it fully diluted. Um, yeah, you can change multiple things. Go to advanced. There's other options here. I'll get into that once we get into uh, more stuff. But right now it's kind of soft. I can make it even softer. I can make it sharper if I want to. We'll put it at like a, a 30. There we go. All right. So it appears like that. You can go back and forth multiple times and make it a little bit darker. So pre what I used to do, and I've done this before, um, a pre-concept, in my opinion, is when I just kind of sketch out. So the plan is to do the title of the piece, because I actually had this idea while I was sleeping, because that's where many of my ideas come to me. Not when I'm actually painting, when I'm doing this, uh, you know. So we're going to take this, we're going to call it Planet. And by the way, for anyone wondering, I use a mouse for all my paintings. I'm drawing with a mouse right now. I'm literally writing with a mouse. There you go. Just in case you needed more emphasis to subscribe to my channel, I draw everything with a mouse. So anyway, <laughs> which is what you should do if you enjoy stuff like this. So, do this, do 
this. So this is supposed to be a planet right here. Right there. Um, on the other side, it's going to be a lot bigger than this. So let's let's say the actual diameter is going to be like this. And it'll have it'll have like a, a ring coming through and stuff like that. It's not. It's going to look much better than that. Uh, and I'll get into the brush we're going to use for that in a second. And then the plan was to have another planet here. <laughs> ring around that one, and then P for planet. And then I'm going to draw what I call the bridge between the worlds. That is the plan. And then, you know, this is obviously, this is all night, because this is the universe. Night, stars, you know, we're going to have some stars in here and stuff like that. It's going to look... B U T F O. Beautiful. Um, so that, that's the plan. So now let's actually go into it. I, I I don't normally do it this sketchy. I just want to give you like an idea of like when I do come up with an idea in my head, I want to sketch it out kinda. This is what I do. So let's go to eraser right over here and then just wishy washy this all in. There is another thing you can do. Or you can just clear it by going up to edit, go up to the edit function, and then you have clear right there. But we don't need to do that. So let's go back down to the pastel. And we're going to remember we're drawing or painting a universe. So it's pitch black in space. You know? Come on. Come on now. Sometimes if I don't use a program for a long time, it tends to like weird out on me, but you don't really catch it being glitchy and stuff like that, or lagging, because it's all sped up in the video. You're right up there. Alright, so now, we want to give, we want to give the sky sort of a purplish feel to it. So what I did was, I went down to, this is black, so if you see, right, that's that, so. What you do is, you take it, I usually go like that, so I'm also holding on that, toggle up just a smidge. And now you should be able to see the faintest bit of color there. So we'll go back to this, and there you go. You don't want too much color. You know, you don't want to have too much color. You just want enough. Come on, dude. Bourbon mayor. There we go. Um, you just want enough. I keep this program open all the time, so that's why it's kind of laggy. I should really, uh... Dude, come on. <laughs> really turn it off sometimes um so yeah we want to we want to kind of do this and then we can take this guy over here it's a blender that i use all the time that you see me use it's kind of big right now but we're going to make it a lot bigger this is smudge round bristle brush so go back up go to basic and i i usually keep it around like 90 ish 80 87 is usually my go-to i'll get put it right there usually We'll go a little bigger today because we have a whole universe to, to smudge in. And once again, you know, you can set the softness and stuff like that if you want to. It is what it is. And then we're just going to blend in. Blend in the sky. Now we'll get into, like, come on. We'll get into, like, the different, uh, you know, things that you can, uh, you know, do with these tools and stuff like that. Okay, so we have, I just want to make it kind of blended, like, I don't want it to be absolute darkness because, I mean, the universe is full of color, color man, you know, right now, to you, it might not look like much, but you're going to be seeing a whole lot of color right there. so now, what we have to do, and this video is going to be long, by the way, I just want to let you know, I'm not going to cut anything out because I want you to get the full experience. So now we come over here to this tool, and this is the small rigger. Let me say that again, small rigger, with an R. Um, and now we're going to, I think what I'm going to do is I want to do a blue, a bluish green world. So we'll go like, bam, right there. And you don't want to start off completely, like, up here. You want to start off with sort of darker tone. Go back up here. Go back to this one. This is what I use for all my paintings regardless we're gonna go up in size a little bit and you're gonna see just how blendy it is 
Now the reason it's so blendy is because I put the blending and the persistence up very high. The dilution is also very high because I really wanted to, I wanted you guys to see the effect it has. Because once again, in my regular drawing videos, or painting videos, um, you're seeing things quickly. You're not seeing it fast, so... If it's just a white background, so here, let me just give you an example of what happens on a white background. So we're going to go to this one, because this one I use all the time. Uh, I'm keep it kind of sized up there. If it's literally just a white background, this guy here will not blend that easily. See, it only really blends in with the with the whiteness, but it doesn't really do much after that. Over here, when you do it over here, it's like nearly disappearing, which is what I like. That's the way I want it to be. So, the best way to go about this, in my opinion, is to do this. I go over to the circle. Normally, I would just kind of wing it. We don't want it that big. That looks kind of cool though. I want to go over here. Okay. Yeah, it might not it might not work in my favor. Yeah, so we're just going to do it naturally. I thought it would work, but it doesn't. So here we're going to now we're going to bring it down. I don't want it to be, I, I want to I want to work through it, you know. So here, let's say we're going to go <laughs> and it's okay if it doesn't look rounded or, you know, anything like that. We can always uh, work on it. You can go from there. I want to make sure you're getting some sort of semblance of this is a planet. And already it's filling up with a whole ton of color. But remember, you gotta you gotta factor in this thing is gonna have rings, it's gonna have shapes in it. By all intents and purposes, this is gonna be a gas giant. The other one, the other planet on the other side, it could be whatever. You, know, you could have it be whatever you want it to be. It could be a rock planet, it could be a gas giant, it could be like a hyper planet, it could be like a pseudo Earth that we've been studying, that NASA's been studying about. NASA, NASA, not NASA, like in the Bahamas. Um, you know, whatever you, whatever you want. Make it as absolutely rounded as I can. Let's see. Uh, angles a little. Why does it keep doing that? Why do I, I literally keep going back to the same spot? There we go. That's good. That should be fine. Once again, we can always revise it. <clears throat> All right, so now you want to go down a little bit, and then we're going to get a little bit bigger. We're going to go up to like uh, 37 should be fine. Because now we're just going to fill in this area. And once again, we can just play around. This is what I usually do when I'm painting. I just kind of mess around with different shapes. Because this isn't the biggest brush, and I don't want to. I don't like going any bigger than I have to. You know, I think I'm gonna fix this up here just to make it a little bit more rounded. So, and you can see now because the blending is so, you know, good, it blends in with the top color. And you can work around that. Uh, maybe we'll even give a little nod. We're gonna give a nod to both Saturn and Jupiter. Saturn for the rings. And we'll put like a great big like greenish yellow eye in this or something like that. I think that would look really cool. So we'll do that. And this would be good if I have the ability. If I had the ability to extreme this and take you know and capture these moments for you guys, um, you know, <laughs> on like a live stream, that would be dope. Up now. Blending in, and we're blending away from where the original spot is. You want to work now? You might be asking Joe, why don't you use the blend tool over here? Because I don't like to. I like to have. I like to make sure that everything has character. You know, I want to. I want to give it actual like feeling. You know, so you kind of get a little lighter, and then you start doing things like stuff like that. Make that a little neater. Just be careful with what you're doing so let's go to this eyedrop tool color picker and I'm gonna pick over here because I want to smooth this out over here so oh, that already looks a lot better come over here we'll smooth this out as well it's already looking a ton better yeah that's looking like a planet man all right so go back over here bam let's get some higher value uh, stuff going on here 
bring this down to about 11 because that's one of my like favorite uh, you, you probably see me use it in a bunch of my different uh, videos I usually gravitate towards like uh, you know now you know I usually gravitate towards using the, the, the thinner brush quality because it actually adds a lot of uh, you know adds a lot of detail bigger brush is usually in my opinion it's usually meant to like lay out you know what you're going to be doing like the, like the landscape and then you can go <clears throat> you can do, go do whatever you want after that <laughs> just letting you know <clears throat> um all right so we're going to set this planet aside for now let it simmer a little bit let me just fix up down here it's just looking kind of oh uh, once again i would like to remind you that i do all these drawings um you know this isn't like from a photograph or something like that. I'm literally doing this in real time. This is an original piece I'm doing. Um, the only thing that I've ever been, you know, kind of, uh, you know, the reason I do these is because I'm inspired by outer space. Um, now remember, stuff has a natural glow to it, so we're gonna give it a glow. Come up here to the airbrush and you can make it bigger if you want it doesn't have to be too big and we'll give it uh, we're gonna do like 10 percent airbrush and just kind of follow along the outside airbrush quality to it that looks really nice actually i'm actually gonna go back up here i want to actually accentuate the highlights on the planet and now remember you want to follow the pattern of the other like striations and cloud coverage and stuff like that because you want it to actually pop out this might be the most in-depth planet i've ever made <laughs> to be brutally honest so i want to do this let's again don't just make a line and then leave it you want to you know blend it in you want to blend it in go with a lower color just so you know it doesn't pop out too much keep going lower and then do that this is just the way, this is the way I work on my paintings. Some people might have a different method for whatever painting they're using or whatever, whatever brushes they're using and stuff like that. I remember, this is all digital too, so you, you could literally do whatever you want. I could draw crap and still probably get some views. But I decide to actually put some effort into my paintings. So, not saying that other people don't. Not saying that other people don't, I just, you know, me personally, I like, you know, with the way I draw things, I like there to be some sort of semblance or something. So, I don't know if this is the one, no, it's not this one. There was one I was using, oh, by the way, this is the brush library. A lot of these brushes I downloaded. Um, I'm trying to remember which one I used, was it this one, Ink Splatter 1, no, I think it was very oily pastel, I think that was the one I used. And we're just going to get a, your very standard sky going here. So we're going to raise up this. We're going to do that. Blending's all the way up. Uh, let's do flow there. I want to get this going before I do anything else. So. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so. We can go from that. From that we can bring it down. Bring that up. Bring the size down. All right, much better, uh, but now the issue is that they're too close, so I want to space it out. So you go to advanced, go up to spacing, and it's already pretty spaced out, so we can go even higher. Go up to 10, rather. <laughs> That's as far as we can go. Um, let's do the size up a little bit. Float down. Dilute it down. Oh, that's much better. So there's not much variation to it. Let's see if we can correct that We're by going to advance and then. Oh, it's already on. Rotate the stroke. Off. Let's see if that changes anything. Let's actually mimic the color of the sky here. Or do that. And then we'll go a little deeper. So I just wanted to put that there in the, so you could see that the color is showing through, even though it's not. Maybe we can go with a different color. Well, let's just, you know, for the sake of it, let's just uh, darker color in there too. It doesn't have to be a lot, we just want to break up some of these lights and stuff. That's already looking really cool though. Um, let us see. So that was very oily pastel. And this is tapered. 
That's Hatcher Slight Taper. Fine Shader Pencil. I want to get, let's see here. Paint Splatter 4. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, so let's see, spacing. Let's bring the spacing up. We're gonna do, it's on soft. Let's see here, opacity. I don't know if it's doing anything. I don't know if we can see if it's doing anything. I think the opacity is too down. Oh, there we go. Oh, that works even better. So now we're getting little, like... Okay. Yeah, we're really popping this out now. This is uh, looking like an actual thing here. So now what I'll do, just to have a little bit of... A little bit of a difference here. We're going to make some, like, shooting stars. We're going to go... Maybe we'll have a little... Oh, no, no. we got to move it somewhere else. Um, what we do need to do now is we need to put a sun somewhere. Some sort of a star. Because what... You know, what type of space would this be if there was no star? So what we'll do is we'll come... We'll just go with... I uh, guess we could just use normal paintbrush. Paintbrush, I'm going to have to blend in though. So we're going to make it kind of, kind of sizable. We'll just kind of put it like right here. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we got that. Now we're going to take this. And it's kind of big, so I want to make it a, a smidge smaller. A smidge smaller. We're just going to kind of shake it up in the sky here. And then what we'll do is come here. Airbrush. Or, actually, no. We can come over here and do this. Take the small guy, a light source in the middle. We got that. So let's do this. Let's do this instead. We'll come back over here. Then we'll airbrush away our problem. All right. So this thing's giving off a considerable amount of light. I do want to add some actual yellow to it. Just blend that in. Make this a little bit smaller, just to give it a little bit of a difference here. This is an interesting looking. Uh, you know, it's very interesting looking, I'd say. It's definitely not normal, so. Alright, so we have a sun, we have a planet. A sun, a planet, and we need... Now we need to give it a ring. So, I'm actually going to put a little slice in the uh, aura here. This guy. How big are we right now? 20. It's too big. <laughs> it's too big. I think the ring, I'm going to put it right... Here. So we're just going to cut that put it right here and you want the ring to come out like that. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Let's do that. I just want to make enough space. So the ring, let's give the ring an interesting color. Let us do like a yellowish and you want to start off big and then, okay, so we got to, we got to think about this here. It comes out even trying to think how I want it to look. Oh, okay, there we go. You want to make this... Alright, I think we got the basic... Uh, it still doesn't look right, though. This this would have to be even higher up, I think. Yes, it would. Yeah, it would. Alright, we're going to... Alright, so here we'll... Don't worry, we're going to fix this. Um, I, it would have to be, like, up here. Yeah, so Bam Bam Bigelow, I think, right? No, that seems that seems way too it's not easy, guys, to draw rings around something. If if the planet was just a little bit more, I see. That's that's the other issue I'm having. I gotta gotta not do that. I gotta come down, down like that. Does that look right? Don't know. Um, come on. Dang us. Thing we are to go through. Oish. Oish. Oh my god, that looks terrible. Once again, I draw with a mouse. It's not the easiest thing in the world. So I apologize if this is boring for you. Okay. I think I got it down. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of it from a certain point of view. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my head. I think that's good. I'm gonna do darker on this side to give the idea. I think that's good. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm on the fence right now. 
I'm on the fence and I don't know how to get off. Um, I think that's the right angle. <laughs> so look, I look. Anything could happen at this point. Um, we still have to make a space bridge. <laughs> this is gonna be a long ass video, so I hope you guys are invested. Um, maybe just to shake things up, I'll make a yellowish orange star over here, just cause you know I'm in the mood now. Just the, the center of this beast. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks dope. Dash dope. And then, okay, all right. You know, I'm gonna leave this for now because I need to get that other planet going. <laughs> so the other, the other planet, we're gonna make it like a. I guess we could do like a. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm on the fence. Um, we're gonna have it like over here. Uh, but what shall it do? What do you like that? Sure, well, you know what? Let's do it. This is gonna be very vibrant, so I hope you're prepared. And maybe what we'll do is we'll make it like a half a pl <coughs> half a planet. This this planet has seen better days. Basically. This planet is running on fumes, and we'll just we'll we'll make like some broken pieces over here, just to emphasize that there's uh. You know, planet's not doing too good. Right? Yeah, so planet's kind of fractured right now. Yeah, this is. I'm actually starting to like it. <clears throat> now we're not gonna put rings on this one because it's like, what the hell, you know? But we do need to make a bridge, and to make the bridge, I'm gonna do gray because this is like the space age. You know, go down a little bit. Uh, it's gonna start on this planet. Basically, we're just hinting at the fact that it's over there. I mean, this is... We're talking about a planet that's probably a couple of thousand miles away. You know? Um, if you're just joining in, if you're clicking on this video, um... This isn't... I'm not live streaming anything. I'm literally just doing this right now. Um... But if you, have, if you haven't seen my other videos yet, I actually have a second channel. I actually do have a second channel called the Nautilus Game Show. I have about 34 videos up on it right now. Um, where I do nothing but gaming. It's literally a gaming channel. And it is a lot of fun. I've been playing oh, mostly a lot of horror games. Now, I was playing a lot of games on the addictinggames.com website. But um, those are older Flash games and the games that are on... Uh, itch.io that I've been playing are a lot um, more, they have more semblance to them. All right, so we're going to go back up here. Just wanted to give that a quick shout out. Also, for this channel, I do have a merch store. It is called uh, thenautilusartshow.com. I actually bought that um, domain, so that's really cool. Um, if you want to help support this channel and everything I do, I highly suggest checking it out. I have a bunch of dope, dope shirts for sale. Um, that you can buy, and there is actually a discount called a code. I think it's Nautilus Twenty. I believe I don't remember if that's what it is, but you can buy some of my sweet <laughs> dope merch, and it would be very much appreciated. So we're just so with this with this bridge, you actually go up. You know, I'm gonna I'll highlight that right now. Yeah, these little, little things here. I've never done a painting of this scale before, by the way. Like, this is, this is like, once you are seeing this concept happen before your eyes. This is like, legitimately just something I have thought up doing. So, I hope you're enjoying. So this is literally a bridge that you can, that can be walked on, if you wanted to walk on it. Yeah, let's say, Hundreds of thousands of years into the future, we finally developed the technology to... And I'm, I'm kind of... I was also... Not only was I inspired by just standard space, but I was also inspired by, like, Vsauce videos. And the idea that we could, at some point in the future, not in my lifetime, or probably not in your lifetime, um, you know, create, like, some sort of a space elevator or a, you know whatever and you know you could just from out of nowhere 
decide to be like, oh, I want to go to this planet and just walk across or jetpack across or whatever, but, you know, you'd be like, I don't know. I don't know what it would be like. I think it would be really dope, though. I think it would be really dope to be able to, like, do something like that. Because people talk about spacewalking all the time, and mankind has always wanted to spacewalk, but this is legitimate spacewalking, like, but I think it's coming out very, very good. <laughs> This is gonna be like the longest video on my channel. Um, like this, I have not done something to this to this scale before. So I'm I don't know, I'm I'm actually enjoying how it's coming out, you know. And this is also I'm also like factoring in the fact that you'll be able to like, you know, obviously you'll be able to like breathe in this thing if you want to. Or it's like a super fast like you take like a super fast car that can go. It's like right there. It takes you thousands of miles an hour. And you wouldn't know, you, there would, no harm would come to you. You would literally be okay the entire time. But, um, you know, you would, you, you, you probably have some wear and tear. You know what? I'm gonna put a freaking, I don't care. Because why the hell not, right? So, basically, I think this is basically done. Um, I don't know what else to put. Maybe we'll put, like, maybe we'll give this thing a bit of suspension. Suspense. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. Uh, where are we at? 9.5.3. And then, I, actually, let's calm that dilution down. Calm the blending down, too. You know, as, as believable as humanly possible. <laughs> I don't know if it's working. Just to emphasize. Oh. It took that video. I just want to make it more darker, so... Emphasize that there's, like, nothing there. This has been very interesting. This has been quite a, uh... Quite a thing I've drawn. Yeah. I was not expecting it to go this way, but here we are. Here we are. Uh, let's do... Let's do a couple last-minute things here. We're gonna do, like, here's an elevator going up, you know the surface and then obviously you know yeah look I've drawn crazier things in my time I think this is a good like I think this executed what I wanted to execute with this um, if you enjoyed this by all means let me know in the comments once again I know this is a long video and I'm fully aware of that but I mean you know I enjoyed it you know, I thought it was fun. I, I, I'm not too fond of this, <laughs> but there, you know, it is what it is. All right, I think that's it. I'm done. This is gonna be a long video, so just hold on. But once again, I will call it step by step on how I create a painting or something like that. Oh, we can't forget to sign it. Um, what you can actually do if you want to just get the black colors, just uh, click the background. Um, let's see, I don't want to go put in here because you won't be able to see. Bam, bam, bam. Alright, uh, there it is. Uh, oh, actually, psh, we have to save it. For the love of God, Joe. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Um, it might take some time to load, because once again, I look, I, I think it came out exactly how I wanted it. So I'm very, very happy with the, uh, you know. yeah, 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 we get it. Calm down. All right, so I call it Space Bridge. The Space Bridge. <laughs> sure. Um, so, yeah, PNG and done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a long video, but I promise you it is definitely worth it. I had a lot of fun doing this. If you want me to do this in the future, let me know. But this is, you saw everything I did to create this painting. And I think it came out pretty good. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.